All right, so you may remember the Hui on pen display that I showed a while ago. It's this one here. And they sent me a new one. This here is the GT221 Pro. The other one is the GT220. And uh, this, as you can see, has got buttons as well, which is pretty neat because that's kind of an issue with the other one. You have to always use the keyboard as well or, you know, buy one of those small little uh, key panels and uh, yeah so I've been working on a t-shirt design and uh, this thing has been working quite well really I'm gonna give you my impression it's a little bit awkward here because I had to put everything on the floor for comparison so I don't have enough space otherwise anyway so both of these pen displays have 16.7 million colors a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and uh, the GT220 has uh, 2048 pressure levels this one has 8192 so it's quite a bit more sensitive and to give you an example here so depending on the pressure I can either get a fairly fine line or this you can see there's there's a lot of difference so instead of having to switch between different brush sizes all the time you can just you know draw it whatever you want with the pressure that you want and do it that way and the buttons are pretty handy on this one here I've got alt control Z to go a step back and um, here is a slider for the scrubby zoom the only thing that's a bit of a shame about this in my opinion is that these two columns of buttons are just mirrored so whatever you set the buttons to they're going to be the same on either side now it'll make sense depending on whether you're left or right-handed but personally I would have preferred if you could configure the buttons individually and have you know one key combination on on this one and a different one on the other side so as it is you've got five up here five there with ten total and that's what you get you could have twenty if these you know if you could separately define keystrokes for each of them as far as the display quality is concerned so I've set the colors up the same way on both of these screens and there isn't much of a difference really between the two I'd say this one the GT221 Pro has a bit less of a tint like it seems just a little bit clearer I'm not sure if that really shows up in the video it's not a major difference just a little bit however both of them when you compare them to a laptop or desktop screen at least the ones that we have here they don't have the same the same kind of contrast now I've been playing around with the contrast to try to get it to a level that I find satisfying but it's not really quite there the laptop and uh, my desktop screen just have darker blacks and brighter whites it's just a bit clearer less washed out at least in direct comparison of course as you work on it you get used to it pretty quickly and then you don't notice it anymore but uh, it is worth pointing out now I don't know how these compare to other pen displays because I've only ever had these so maybe that's a standard thing but either way it would be nice if they could improve the contrast a little bit the colors are overall pretty good the the displays don't really distort them in any significant way um, this one here has well both of these have a tiny bit of a green tint if I can see that right which again could also be tweaked a little more okay so when drawing with these what you have to get used to a little bit in the beginning is that where you draw is not exactly where the tip of the pen rests uh, there's a little, tiny bit of a gap I don't know if that is really visible but 
you know, from my perspective, where it draws is like, I don't know, like two or three millimeters away from the, the tip of the pen. Now, that's something that you definitely get used to. As said, it's just in the beginning, it's a little confusing, but uh, no big deal really. So yeah, overall, it's quite a nice experience. You know, this is way easier to draw on than, oops, <laughs> As I say that, I make a really weird line, but uh, it's a lot easier to draw on than a standard tablet without screen. Okay, that, that looks terrible, but it's just a bit of a doodle. Looking at the back, there are some nice design improvements. So for one, the cables connect on the side, whereas on the 220, you can see they're down here, which makes it a little annoying that interferes with the stand. So they're definitely more accessible. Also, I like that the menu buttons on the 221 are on top here, whereas on the 220, they're down here. The stand is still the same. We can tilt it. We've got various angles here, including completely flat or almost completely. As far as the build quality is concerned, no complaints here. It all seems solid. Uh, the buttons are kind of average, I'd say. They're not, not extremely tactile, but they're fine. Connecting and configuring is quick and easy. Didn't have any problems here. Okay, so between these two, there's a price difference of almost $200. And in my opinion, it's probably worth it to invest more into the GT221 Pro because it's definitely nice to have the, the buttons available and also the, the improvements in the, the design are really quite helpful. I mean, it's not really essential necessarily, especially if you have the space to put up a keyboard next to it and work with that, then you may not need the 221 Pro. But for me, it's definitely quite handy. And overall, these pen displays are really neat. And I've, I haven't drawn in quite a long time. I really didn't have time for it. It's been years. And these have really made me go back to it. I still don't have much time, but they've really made me want to get back into drawing whenever I can here and there. And also for you know, draw, drawing merchandise designs, that's really good. It's definitely easier to do it this way than with a tablet or just with a mouse even worse i mean sure you can with the pen tool you can do a lot of things to be fair but this really helps a lot and makes it much more enjoyable so yeah personally i like these so i would definitely suggest checking them out the links will be in the video description down below so i hope you found the review helpful and thanks for watching